there, I'm Wendy and welcome to my channel where I share knitting and crochet tutorial videos for my projects and techniques. And today's video is a beginner's basic video for knitting and it's teaching you how to knit the knit stitch. But just before we start, if you're new to my channel, then don't forget to subscribe and you'll get to hear when my new videos and updates go live. And if you've enjoyed this video, it would be lovely if you gave me a thumbs up as well. Now you can hold the yarn in your left hand or your right hand when it comes to knitting and if you're holding the yarn in your right hand that's the English style and if you're holding the yarn in your left hand that's the continental style. But in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to work the knit stitch English style because that's my go-to method for my own knitting. Now I'm using some UK weight double knitting yarn and I've got a pair of four millimeter wooden needles here and I would just suggest that when you're learning to knit that it's a good idea to use wooden or bamboo needles because they're a little bit more grippy and your stitches will feel a little bit more secure on the needles and they'll be less likely to slip off. Now I've already cast on 10 stitches and I'm ready to go and start knitting but if you need to learn how to do this I'm going to pop a link in above here now and in the description notes below to take you to my YouTube videos that will show you how to cast on. So I'm going to make the start and the left hand needle has got the stitches on it and the right hand needle is empty and the right hand needle is referred to as the working needle. And what I'm going to be doing is as I knit my stitches I'm going to be transferring them over from the left hand needle to the right hand needle and by the end of the row all the stitches will be on my right hand needle and my left hand needle will be empty. So to make a start I'm going to pop my right hand needle between the first and second stitch and I'm going to go through and come out through the center of that stitch and it forms a cross and it will feel quite secure. Your stitches will be held together. So then I'm going to take my left hand and I'm going to support both the needles so I've got everything in my left hand and then with my right hand I can take my yarn and I can take my yarn under, up and over and wrap it around that bottom needle. So I'm going to do that again. I'm going to take the yarn across under the needle, then I'm going to come up and over clockwise and go back down again. So I've now got my new stitch wrapped around that bottom needle. I'm now going to still hold this yarn in my thumb and my forefinger and I can hold the right hand knitting needle as well. So now I'm going to just pop my left hand finger on top of that bottom needle just to stop um, anything from slipping off and I'm going to roll my upper needle over the tip of the lower needle and I'm pulling out a stitch. Now I can let go of the stitch of the left hand needle and I've knitted my first stitch. So I'm going to do this again. I'm going to take the tip of my right hand needle. I'm going to go between the first and the second stitch on my left hand needle. And I'm going to go through the center of the stitch underneath, going from left to right. And you can see I've got both the needles now going through that stitch. I'm now going to hold both needles with my left hand supporting it and I can let go with my right hand and I can take the yarn underneath that bottom needle up and over and back down and I've wrapped that bottom needle with a length of yarn. Now I can hold the yarn and the right hand needle together. I'm just going to pop my left hand finger on top of that needle to stop any stitches slipping off and then I'm going to draw the upper needle towards the tip and roll it over and then I'm going to pull through the stitch. Once I've done that, I can release the stitch of my left hand needle. And so again, we'll do the same thing. We're going to take the tip of the right hand needle between the first and the second stitch on the left needle. We're going to go underneath and through that stitch from left to right, and that forms a cross. I can now hold everything with my left hand and with the right hand I can take my yarn underneath the bottom needle and wrap the yarn around and bring my hand back.
still holding my yarn between my thumb and my forefinger and I can hold that right hand knitting needle as well. Now I'm going to take my forefinger of my left hand and just pop it over that needle just so that as I draw my stitch up to the tip of the needle and roll it over, I'm not losing any stitches. And then I've transferred the stitch from the left to the right hand and I can release the rest of that stitch off the left hand needle. So again, I'm going to take the tip of my right hand needle between the first and second stitch. I'm going to go underneath and through that stitch and I've got both stitches on my needle that have created a cross. I'm putting my left hand fingers underneath the needles to support them and then I can let go with my right hand. I can take my yarn underneath up and over and back down and I've wrapped that yarn around that bottom needle. I'm then going to hold the needle and the yarn all together with my right hand pop my forefinger on top of the bottom needle and draw my left hand needle up towards the tip and roll it over and pick that stitch through. Okay, so we're going to do the next one. I'm going to take the tip of the right hand needle between the first and the second stitch. I'm going to go through that stitch from left to right and come out through the bottom of the stitch. I'm then going to hold the stitches in the needle or with my left hand. I'm then going to let go with my right hand and I can take the yarn underneath that bottom needle, wrap it around up and over and bring it back down and then hold the yarn and the right hand needle together. Then I'm going to put my forefinger on top of the needle and draw my stitch through. So now you've got a few stitches on this right hand needle it should start to feel a little bit more secure. So I'm not going to pop my finger on top of the tip of that needle now. So I'm going to take the right hand needle between the first and the second stitch, take it through that first stitch underneath coming out from left to right. I've formed a cross, hold it all in place with my left hand, take the yarn in my right hand and bring it up over and back down the other side and then I can hold the yarn and the needle together and then I'm going to draw my left hand needle towards the tip of the right hand needle and bring my right hand needle through and then release the stitch. So again between the first and second stitch I'm going from left to right underneath forming a cross Take my yarn up over, wrap it around that lower needle, bring my yarn and my right hand back together and hold the yarn and the needle together. Then I can draw my left hand needle up towards the tip and roll it over and transfer my stitch. So again, between the first and second stitch, I'm going from left to right underneath, forming a cross, taking my yarn, wrapping it around, bringing it up and over and back down, holding my yarn and needle together with my right hand, drawing my left needle up to the tip, rolling it over and releasing the stitch of the left hand needle. So again, I'm taking the tip of the right hand needle through from left to right. I can then take my yarn underneath, up and over and wrap it around. Hold both the yarn and the needle together in my right hand and then draw that left hand needle over the tip of the right hand needle and release the stitch. Now if by any chance when you get to the last stitch you find that it just pops off the needle, don't worry about that at all. You can literally just take your left hand needle and pop it back through that loop and then you can finish your last stitch. So for our last stitch we're going to go to the left hand side of the stitch and go through the stitch underneath from left to right, form that cross and then we can hold both the needles in our left hand 
and then we can take our yarn underneath up and over and wrap it around hold the yarn and the needle in our right hand together and then just draw our left hand needle up and over that last stitch and you'll see now that you've transferred all the stitches from your left hand needle over to your right hand needle so all we need to do is swap hands so we put the stitches that are on the needle in our left hand and then we hold the empty needle the working needle in our right hand and we start the process all over again so I'm going to take my needle between the first and the second stitch and I'm going to go from left to right and underneath and then hold everything in my left hand and then I'm going to take the yarn underneath up over and back down again wrapping it around holding the yarn and the needle in my right hand together and then drawing that left needle up and over the tip of the right hand needle and then I can release the stitch and again I'm going to go through the first and the second stitch and then go underneath that first and second stitch and come out through that first stitch forming a cross hold both the needles in my left hand take the yarn in my right hand underneath up and over wrapping it around holding the yarn and the needle in my right hand and then just drawing that left hand needle over the right hand needle and letting the stitch slip off and this is the method that you're going to be continuing when you're working the knit stitch now at first it might feel a little bit clumsy and a bit awkward but you just need to practice until you get the muscle memory and it will become automatic so practice this for a little bit till you get used to it and then take a look at working the purl stitch as well so for now, I'll say welcome to the world of knitting and I hope you enjoy it and I look forward to seeing you again soon. Bye.